Welcome back to the Forum 1 on Tech. Today we'll be reviewing the JBL Clip 3, an ultra portable Bluetooth speaker. It retails for $49.95 and we're going to get into it right after this. So first up, let's talk about design. This is a very compact, lightweight speaker. It's pretty much the size of a hockey puck and it comes in at just about a half a pound. So this makes it ultra portable and easy to travel with. And it has an integrated carabiner, aka a clip for all of you out there like us that didn't know it had such a fancy name. But this is nice because you can easily clip it on a bag, or if you're not carrying a bag, you can even just clip it on a belt loop. The material that covers the speaker is a durable feeling fabric material that looks like it can stand up to a lot of use over time. The rest of the base has a rubberized texture and has the carabiner which has a satin metal finish. On the front of the speaker you'll find buttons for the playback and volume controls. The center play button controls song playback. You can hit the play button once to play and pause music. If you tap it twice while music is playing it will skip to the next track. Long pressing the play button while connected to a phone via Bluetooth will access your smart assistant. If you receive a call while connected to the speaker, hit the play button to answer the call. Then there are the volume up and down buttons as well. Yeah, and on the side of the speaker you also have the power button and the pairing button. When you turn it on for the first time it automatically puts itself into pairing mode which is convenient, but if you need to pair something later you'll need to use that pairing button. And on the other side you have a built-in mic so you can take calls and speak with your voice assistant on your phone or tablet. You also have a rubber cover that houses and protects your USB charging port and 3.5mm jack. As mentioned before, the bass is rubberized to help the speaker from moving around while listening to bass heavy content. This is a nice feature to have. You don't want to be jamming to your favorite song only to find it has fallen off a high surface moments later. JBL Clip 3 comes in a variety of colors or you can customize your own design on JBL's website. This is a very cool option. Now moving on to features. A great feature of this speaker is that it is waterproof. It is IPX7 rated which means that it can be fully submerged in water up to 1 meter deep for about 30 minutes. So it really makes the speaker ideal for outdoor activities. We personally got it for a weekend trip to the beach and I like to kayak so it's been nice having a speaker you don't have to worry about getting wet. It's also a wireless Bluetooth speaker that supports Bluetooth 4.1, so you can connect to your devices and use it to stream music, listen to audiobooks, or take calls, and be at a distance from your device up to 50 meters outdoors or 10 meters indoors. Taking calls on the speaker sounded crisp and clear. However, whoever you are talking to will have a better time hearing you if you are closer to the speaker's built-in microphone. Being a little distance away and the caller can still hear you, but you'll sound far away. The JBL Clip 3 is packing a 1000 mAh rechargeable lithium ion battery. This should be good for 10 hours of battery life. To fully charge the battery, it takes 3 hours. And if you're worried about battery life, there's an auto power off feature. So if no audio signal is detected for about 10 minutes, it'll turn off. Another feature that we really appreciate is that it has a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. So if you have an older device that doesn't have Bluetooth but can be connected via an auxiliary cable, you can still connect to the speaker. Now let's talk about what's most important with a portable Bluetooth speaker, sound quality. The speaker is a 3 watt, 40 millimeter driver pumping out mono audio. When listening to vocal, centric, or acoustic music, the JBL Clip 3 does well here. The speaker is also good for podcasts and audiobooks. The speaker suffers when listening to anything that is really bass heavy. Although for a speaker at this size, you can't expect too much in the bass department. Sound volume is also adequate. We saw the JBL Clip 3 hit 85.6 decibels max on our sound meter. Here's an audio clip of the JBL Clip 3 so you can hear the sound quality. So now for our final thoughts. 
This is a great portable Bluetooth speaker for the beach, poolside, camping, and hiking. For more domestic use cases, you can take this with you in the shower or bathroom, the garage, or any hobby workspace you may have in the home. Its portability and price point make it a good choice if you're looking for a durable, portable speaker. And JBL does offer a newer model, the JBL Clip 4 for $69.95, which does offer better sound and a few additional upgrades. So if you're looking for better sound, you might want to go with that model. But if you want to save 20 bucks, I think the sound with the JBL Clip 3 is just fine. And if you like more color options, the Clip 3 offers more base colors and a design your own feature on their website, which provides a lot of customization. It allows you to choose your own colors, patterns, or stickers, and you can even upload a photo or image that can be imprinted on a speaker. So I think the ability to do this is really nice. Yeah, so given all that, my score for this is an 8. I just wish it had more bass, but I do like the portability, all the color options. Uh, pairing was uh, pretty easy, and you know, minus the bass, the sound was good uh, for you know vocals and acoustics and podcasts and audiobooks. What are you gonna give it? Yeah, I think I, I give it a nine because I think for the price, it uh, originally was like sixty dollars. Now it's forty nine, um, and I think again for the price and the size, the sound it sounds really good. Yes, the bass, the bass kind of sounds a little more poppy than even yeah, sounds so, like so, it so would have lacking, bass. Yeah. Um, and we like bass, so you know, a little ding there. But other than that, I think it was a really good speaker and we've enjoyed it again, using it to go into the beach and stuff. Uh, you know, the JBL, 4, or JBL Clip 4 is nice, but another $20. Right. We just wanted something cheap that sounds decent to take, you know, every now and then when we go to the beach or do some outdoor activities. Yeah, definitely the ease of use of carry it around and have it in different places definitely is good. Well, that's it for this one, guys. Uh, do please to remember to uh, subscribe, like, and comment. It helps us out a bunch, and we're looking forward to bringing more content like this to you guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!